Why isn't it focusing? Let me introduce you guys to this new app called IRL Chat. Anyways, this app is uh, designed by this fine gentleman named Johan. He created this app to make IRL streaming workflow much easier for IRL streamers. You know, I downloaded it recently. Um, I've been using it for about a month or so, maybe more than a month. Um, and he's done multiple upgrades to it. Basically how this works is that he included the chat down here at the bottom. And what he's allowed you to do is you can add different tabs at the top that can be your resources that you need to use while you are live streaming. So for example, what I have up here is I have the alerts that comes from stream elements. I have uh, my event feed right here in the second tab right here. <laughs> I also have media request here so I can activate media request through the app. I also have my um, remote server interface in here that I can activate. Whatever else you want to put in there, everything is pretty customizable. Since this uh, app came out, there's a few things that they've added to it which are really helpful. The, th the thing I like about this app that's developed by Johan is that he's really responsive in putting updates and requests. So some of the things that he's added is uh, changing the text size. So for me, my eyes kind of suck. Uh, I made the text size as big as I can. So you know you can you can adjust the text size you can also adjust the uh, emote size and badge sizes he also added emote support for things like uh bttv f fz franker z and uh you know your viewer counter and and things like that uh one of the most impressive additions that he included was including a, the text to speech some people use speech chat when IRL streamers drive. This has a built-in text-to-speech uh, function, which I just found out about recently. He added this very interesting speaker disconnect workaround. Play a silent audio clip every five minutes to prevent Bluetooth speakers from going to sleep. The JBL Clip 2 or 3, which has a built-in uh, function that it will sleep if it doesn't hear anything after a certain amount of time. You have to download a different app to send the silent audio to make sure that the speaker doesn't die this app has it built in the good thing about this app is that it really consolidates all of the resources that irl streamers use uh, into one thing the biggest selling point of this app is the fact that you can add browser sources which is like basically anything what you want it to be if it's uh has a web page you can add it to this app and use it as a resource to improve your live streaming uh, situation. For example, I made um, this overlay on stream elements that has my alerts as well as other things such as the stats of my stream and uh, the latest events that happen here at the top. I made a video about this so if you're interested about how I did this, please click the video um, I'll put it in the description. But what I've basically done is I've taken that and I've added it to my browser sources uh, in the settings. You can easily add anything um, as a browser source. Uh, just for example, you click the plus button at the bottom and it opens this. You put in the information and you put in your uh, URL, which is right there. So for example, this is the stream elements dashboard media request. You can save it, press the save button, boop, and on your home screen, you'll have all the tabs at the top. I just added the media request and it'll come up like that. So without having to switch between apps or web pages or whatever on your phone, you can have your chat and whatever you have all together. This is this big selling point of it and it makes your workflow much easier as an IRL streamer. Um, the alerts come up on this and I'll give you an example. Here is a test alert. Here is a test alert. Boom. And then you heard it. Ooh. So it shows up like that. The last thing that I'll mention about this app is that it has this feature, which is uh, keep chat alive in the background. So what this does is that you have your chat all over here. You know, they're all talking to each other or whatever. And you want to move 
from your app to another app. Let's say I want to check out YouTube. IRL chat running in the background. That means you will never lose the chat that's uh, here. So it will always be uh, populating as people talk as you're navigating some other app. Your alerts will still work in the background if you're using another app and that's like one of the awesome things about this one. As long as it doesn't crash. What feature of this app would you like to add in the future that's not there already? The only thing this app can't really do is you can't really like click on people's um, names and go to their profiles. You can long click someone's name and it has the features to if you want to time out, ban them or something like that. What? Wait, that's new. Hold on. It didn't have this before. Open user in browser? What? That's new. Oh. Oh. I didn't know that. Uh, one of the features that I wish was here is that uh, if someone puts a link in the chat, you can't click the link. At least I don't think so. Someone click a link. Let me see if I can click it. Here we go. Oh, it does! <laughs> what? Did they update it? Okay, I, I take back what I said. I take it back. I take it back. This app does everything. Oh, you know one of the things that I kind of wish this had? Um, a way to watch my stream. So, like, if I wanted to see if my stream was going well, but I don't want to, like, listen to it, uh, I wish it was muted and I could just go to it and then see my stream. I suppose I could put, like, the URL of my stream and then have it here. Should I try that? Maybe let's try it too. I'm going to add a new tab and I'm going to put the URL of what I want to be added in the tab. And in this case, we're going to add a preview of the pop-out of my stream. So I'm going to paste the URL, which is like that. Save it. Press the save button. Now we go to pop out. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? I don't think it's going to work. This is an alert saying that I've indicated the channel is for a mature audience. Start watching. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's working! Can I pause it? How do I pause it? That's my stream! And the, the tomatoes work. The tomatoes don't even work on the Twitch app. It has all the the functions and stuff. Like I can mute it. I can I can gift a sub from here if I wanted to. If I gift a sub from here, do I have to pay the extra fee? It costs four ninety nine. <laughs> That's tight. It costs four ninety nine. You know if you if you use the app and you try to gift yourself a sub, it costs a dollar more. Now I'm in this page, but the problem is now is that if I want to go back to watch my stream from the pop-up, if I press back, it will close the app like that. Everything up top resets. So yeah, that, that is an issue. So anyways, uh, that is the IRL chat in a nutshell. Um, it's a really strong, powerful app uh, for IRL streaming. This is version 1.5.2. So this app is probably going to be updated in the future to have even better stuff. But at the moment, uh, you know, I really recommend this for IRL streaming. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. Give me a subscription on YouTube and on Twitch. And follow me, twitch.tv slash johnsf. And, uh, you know, whatever. All the rest. For everyone that's in my stream for the first time, please consider giving me a follow. Give me the follows. Put them in the bag. Give me all your damn follows. Hmm? Give me the follows. Better do it. If you don't follow me right now, there will be hell to pay know what I mean you'll be able to enjoy my live streaming adventures at another time so please do it's more beneficial for you than it is for me no, I'm just kidding <laughs>